How's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a Python script that runs a Python script every five minutes. Let's get right into it. In this tutorial, I'm using three libraries, the time library, the date time library, and the CSV library. The time library I only use to uh, trigger the interval of, of how often the script's going to run. Okay, the date time is just to show the script running so I can get the very moment that the date time, uh, you know, th that the very moment that the script ac executes in this loop. And then the CSV uh, library is only to show uh, for an output of the script to show it, uh, it running every minute. So anyway, let's get right into it. We start off by running a while loop, an infinite while loop. And we trigger, or we create that infinite while loop by just doing while true. This will never be false. It'll always be true. If it was while false, it would never run. If it was while true, it runs forever. Within our while loop, we want to put a try catch block. So this try catch block, what it does is if there's an error, uh, it's just kind of a, it makes life easier. If there's an error, for example, uh, your internet has a hiccup, it's out for 15 seconds, it's not just going to kill the whole while loop and error you out. It just catches it and says, uh, you know, there was, you either exited it manually or there was a problem with the script. Okay, in our first try catch block, we create an, an array, and in that array called list data, we're going to put a string price. We can, you can replace these later with whatever you want. P name for product name and this moment. This moment is a, uh, is a variable we created that just stores the instant that, that this loop is running. This is just going to illustrate it running over time. And then our output here is this CSV file. Very basic with open CSV file, a new line. Uh, new line is based on, on nothing. So, yep, there you go. Writer object, writer equals f object. Very simple. Now, here is how we trigger uh, the interval that we want our script to run. You know, say we're, we're doing a price tracker that wanted to check a price on a website every five minutes. If that were the case, what's, what's five minutes times 60? The sleep is in seconds, so this is three seconds. Uh, 60 would be one every minute, but we're, what do we want to do here is we want to do uh, every five minutes, which is 300 seconds. But for illustrative purposes, I'm just going to do three seconds so you can watch this run in, in real time. And then just as a diagnostic tool, we print out uh, this array of three items. If there's any error, it'll print out problem with the script or there was a manual exit. So let's run the script and see what we get. And we're waiting three seconds. There you go. Price, P name, this moment. Price, P name, this moment. And you can see that this script is running three seconds apart. If you added 300, it would be every five minutes. Nobody wants to sit here and watch a five minute, <laughs> wait for five minutes for a script to run. And here's our output uh, in the CSV file. It, this doesn't update in real time, but so line nine is empty. Now we're down to line 10. So yeah, you can just put your script in here. You can make this every five minutes, but this is really a low level, extremely basic way to run a Python script in an infinite loop and execute it at a specific interval. Uh, another way to do this would be cron, but that's a different, uh, that's a different video. I'm gonna stop it and it's gonna give us our error that we've set up already, problem with script or manual exit. And we have our CSV file with our spaced out uh, outputs by three seconds. So that was it. If you get anything out of this video, I ask you please uh, hit the like button. And then if, I also put the script in the uh, description. So before you grab my script from the description, go ahead and uh, click the like button. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.